minus 10, 9, 8, 2, X minus 1. And the enemy first rocket to leave the Earth and travel to the planet Venus is away. August 13th, 1999 becomes a great day in history. Because of the thick atmosphere which shrouds the planet Venus, we can only speculate what Captain Jack Houston will find, or what will find him. Some sort of malfunction reported for 27 days since the last contact with the rocket. Scientists working day and night to restore communication. Still on course for Venus. Rocket shows no signs of decelerating. Fisted pulp sci fi tale. Savage beasts on a savage planet. Hi, I'm Stacy Davidson, filmmaker and game designer, and this is the world of Jack Houston. Test pilot Jack Houston is rocketed to the planet Venus, where he crash lands only to wake up a thousand years later in a world of savage beastmen who worship a strange god with the power to animate the dead. In the tradition of pulp sci-fi adventure writers like Edgar Rice Burroughs, Jack Houston is a concept rich in character, environment, and story. What it needs is a game genre to match it. If you've seen The People vs. George Lucas, you may have caught my contribution to the Star Wars Uncut project. Over my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. The open-ended environment, rich interactivity of a point-and-click adventure game interface I think will best allow players to fill Jack's shoes and explore the rich environment of Venus. So you're making a point-and-click adventure game in the modern day. Now what do you do? Do you have pixelated graphics like the old days? Well, I think that works well for some games. But for Jack Houston, I wanted something a little different. In the early days of Hollywood, filmmakers who wanted to put something fantastic on the screen turned to these magicians of motion Willis O'Brien, Ray Harryhausen, Phil Tippett, these were the creators, the pioneers of stop motion. The concept is simple. Miniature environments are created and backed with paintings. Within these environments, puppets are filmed one frame at a time. These puppets were specially designed to articulate at every joint. They were then wrapped in a special foam latex skin and then painted and animated to astonishing effect. The end result was like a diorama, a stage built in layers of miniature where tiny puppets would play out bigger than life adventure. How fitting for an adventure game environment. And in the case of Jack Houston, this technique will give you, the player, the feel of starring in your own classic sci-fi movie. Well, now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's great, but who exactly is qualified to do all this work? Since 2003, Odyssey Pictures has been creating award-winning special effects for motion pictures. Working with partners like Marcus Cook with Autopsy Effects, Christy Bull with Rancid House Effects, our own in-house special effects wizard Mike Oliver, and I myself have served as visual effects supervisor on numerous films, movies from Lionsgate Entertainment and Aeroscope Pictures. Our work has been seen at the Tribeca in New York, as far as Manchester, England, and featured in Fangoria Magazine. An original score will be created by Ian Kelso international award-winning composer who has already begun work and whose score for our in-house movie Jacob you're listening to right now. I know what you're thinking. Tell me about the rewards. Well, 15 bucks you get DRM free digital download complete with designer commentary audio track, a new HD wallpaper every month and access to our private forum community and video updates for backers only. For 30 bucks we throw in a digital download of the soundtrack and for 60 you get a PDF 
of crafting the world of Jack Houston and the Necronauts. At 100 bucks, things start to get physical. We're going to get you the boxed special edition of the game with three behind-the-scenes DVD-style featurettes. You get Season 1 of the Jack Houston radio drama with a special behind-the-scenes featurette. We also throw in a giant movie size poster and four total download codes. At the 250 level, you get a physical CD soundtrack. We sign your game box. We give you a special thanks in the credits, a Raglan jersey. You vote on in-game content and six total download codes. At 500, you get a hard copy of the full color Crafting the World of Jack Houston book, VIP newsletters with exclusive content, frame lithograph of concept artwork, and eight downloads. 1,000 gets you a military cap, life-size replica of Jack's ray gun, access to alpha test builds, custom lithograph of your face, bonus chapter in your book, associate producer credit, quarterly producer reports, and 10 download codes. 3,000 and you get a resin garage kit. Five signed lithographs listed as executive producer, an original model from the game itself. At 6,000, I'm going to send you one of the actual stop motion figures. You got a 12 inch statue of Jack signed and numbered, and your face appears in the intro. And yes, everyone gets all previous tiers. Jack Houston and the Necronauts promises to be a point and click adventure game in the tradition of the dig and full throttle, with alien worlds created through miniature and creatures created through stop motion. For a long time now, adventure games have been thought of as a thing of the past. Well, they're coming back now, in a big way. And it's our turn to control their future. You can do that by backing the games that you want to see become a reality. Personally, I can't wait to play this game. If you feel the same, please back Jack Houston and the Necronauts. Thanks, guys.